let us pray in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen o jesus through the immaculate heart of mary i offer you my prayers works joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your sacred heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen here are the intentions of the holy father for the month of january for educators we pray that educators may be credible witnesses teaching fraternity rather than competition and helping the youngest and most vulnerable above all our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen my dear friends the word of god welcomes us this morning as we have all gathered to spend another day with the lord as we have gathered to spend these moments with Jesus talking to him telling him about our difficulties telling him about the challenges that we face in our lives sharing with Jesus our joys and sorrows first and foremost we thank the lord for giving us this time to spend with him and lord we ask you for the grace that we may be able to spend this time with you wholeheartedly that we may be able to listen to what you try to communicate to us through the silence of our hearts and at the same time through events and through people around us and lord we ask you for the grace that whatever we may do today it may be according to your plan it may be in accordance with the teachings with the precepts and most importantly whatever we may do it may help us to radiate your love joy and mercy to others and with this in mind let us now close our eyes at this moment and let us first and foremost praise the lord for he has woken up this morning he has woken us all he has given us good health and most importantly he has given us a brand new day a day which will help us to do many things a day which we may use to complete some things that were pending a day where we may do something for the welfare or well-being of others and therefore let us ask the lord to be present with us all through this day so that whatever we do every thought every word every action may radiate his love joy and mercy that whatever we may do it may be for the greater glory of god lord we also praise and thank you for giving us good health for protecting us all through the night you have guarded us and you have kept us safe from all harm lord you always watch over us and 
you keep us safe from all harm. And for this, Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. At every moment, Lord, your gaze is on us. You love us, you protect us, you guide us. You send people in our lives who help us in various ways. And today, Lord, as we begin this prayer, we want to thank you for the gift of these individuals in our lives. Individuals who play a very important role in our lives. They could be our friends, family members, relatives, etc. We thank you for their presence. We thank you for their roles in our lives. And Lord, we also want to thank and glorify you for all the blessings, the opportunities that you have given us, all the gifts, all the talents. Lord, we ask you to be with us so that we may be able to make proper use of these opportunities, of these talents, so that we may not be selfish and use it only for our benefit, but we may also use these talents, opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others. My dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we shall reflect and meditate on Psalm 30. And the Psalm tells us that I will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried to you for help and you have healed me. And these two first two verses of the psalm tell us that the Lord never abandons us. The Lord is always there watching over us, protecting us, guarding us, guiding us. And in this way, he assures us that we will always be kept safe and sound. The Lord invites us to walk on his path, to follow the plan that he has made for each and every one of us. And as long as we do this, as long as our gaze is on God, we see that we will not be led astray. The psalm continues, O Lord, you brought up my soul from Sheol, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you, his faithful one, and give thanks to his holy name. Indeed, we need to thank the Lord for all that he has done for us. Let us take some time and look at the blessings that we have received right from the day of our birth till now. Look at every small incident, every small event, and you will be able to notice the hand of the Lord in these events. And thus, you'll be able to appreciate how God has always been there, guiding us, protecting us, showing us a new way. And in this way, we see that the Lord also sent His only begotten Son, who has saved us from eternal damnation. He has given us a new lease of life. And it all depends on us what we do with this new lease of life. Do we use it positively? to enrich the lives of others or do we use it selfishly only for our personal gains? The psalm continues, For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. As for me, I said in my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. You hid your face, I was dismayed. And here we see the Lord is merciful, kind. Even though when we go astray from the Lord, even though he may get angry, it may be just for a fraction. But the joy, the mercy of the Lord lasts forever. And therefore, we need to reflect on this. Are we going in the right path? Are we following the path of the Lord? Because as the psalm says, O Lord, you have established me as a strong mountain. 
if we follow the precepts of the Lord, we see whatever challenges may come, whatever difficulties may come, we will not be shaken. The psalm continues, To you, O Lord, I cried, and the Lord, I made supplication. What profit is there in my death? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. And therefore, this needs to be our prayer. Every day, we need to ask the Lord to be with us, to guide us, to protect us, to lead us on the right path. Because sometimes there is this tendency to get carried away with the ways of the world. And that is why if we are rooted and grounded in the love of God, if we place our gaze on Jesus, we see that we always will be able to follow the right path. We will constantly be able to check if we are going away from the Lord or no. And the psalm concludes by saying that you have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. And therefore the psalm concludes by saying that the Lord has changed our mourning into joy. And therefore, this is something that is quite important for us. It gives us hope. Even in difficult moments, we need to trust in the Lord because the Lord will help us to overcome these situations. And most importantly, we need to thank the Lord, praise the Lord and use our talents for the well-being of others. And now, let us take a few moments and spend a few moments in silence reflecting on this psalm. Let us try to see what the psalm is personally trying to communicate to each and every one of us. Let us allow the psalm to take root in our hearts so that we may be able to draw fruit from today's psalm, that we may be able to take something and apply it to our lives. So as we spend these moments in silence, let us reflect, ruminate over the psalm and let us see how well can we really use our gifts for the well-being of others. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince, of the heavenly host by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy O Sacrament Divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home 
and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen <laughs>